Oh, praise his name forevermore. For endless days we sing his praise. Hello there. How are you, my dear friends and family? How I hope that you are having a joyous day in the Lord because, say it with me, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what you are going through, keep on praising God. He will see you through this. And remember, this too shall pass. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, before we get into God's word, today behind me, I have another beautiful photo from, it was a Hallmark movie. And I believe they went in Hawaii and they just did a huge widescreen shot here. And I thought, oh, so beautiful, breathtaking, water, water, water. I love, love, love water. All right. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into God's Word, starting with Joel Olstein's The Power of I Am. Today's title is Infused with Strength. I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me. That's from Philippians 4.13 AMP. The Apostle Paul said, I am ready for anything. I am equal to anything through him who infuses strength into me. He was stating, the enemy may hit me with his best shot, but it won't stop me. I'm more than a conqueror. Paul has been shipwrecked, spent the night on an open sea, and gone with days without food. He was falsely accused, beaten with rods, thrown into prison. If anyone had a reason to be negative and bitter, it would have been Paul. But his attitude was, I can handle it. Almighty God, the creator of the universe, has infused me with strength. He has equipped me, empowered me, anointed me, crowned me with favor, put royal blood in my veins, and called me to reign in life as a king. Whew, that is powerful. Thank you, Father, for Philippians 4.13, and thank you, Joel, for this devotional. So true. Paul really did go through so, so much. And I just love that scripture that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And God does infuse us with strength, but we have to go and ask him for it. You know, we, we, we have to ask. He says, ask and you shall receive. All right. And next, the reading from the Holy Bible. Today's scripture is Hebrews 10, 36 from the New International Version. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he promised. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Father, for that. And now, for David C. Hebner's Clear My Vision. We weren't, you know, just wishing on a star when we laid the facts out before you reading the powerful return of our master, Jesus Christ. We were there for the preview. We saw it with our own eyes. Jesus resplendent with light from God, the Father, as the voice of majestic glory spoke. This is my son, marked with my love, focus of all my delight. We were there on the holy mountain with him. We heard the voice out of heaven with our very own ears. That's from 2 Peter 1, 16 through 18. The wonder of Christ's unconditional love is not just wishful thinking. When our desires go unfulfilled, we are filled with disappointment and hurt. However, Christ has revealed his splendor so that we see his magnificence with our own eyes and hear his voice with our very own ears. Christ's love is real. 
and we can feel him with every fiber of our being. Amen. 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 Oh, I so agree with this. Oh my gosh. So, so, so true. Okay. The prayer here today is, Lord, we are so thankful that your love for us is not imaginary. Sometimes your love is all we have to hang on to when things are difficult, but you never leave or forsake us. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 So true. You do not leave us. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this glorious day that you have made. We continue to rejoice and be glad in it, Lord. No matter what pain we go through, Lord, you are here with us. You infuse us with your strength to carry on. And Lord, we thank you for that. Thank you, Jesus, for suffering and going through all that you have gone through so that we could have what we have today, even in the midst of trials and tribulations and pain and suffering. We can connect with you and we know that you know our pain because you of all people have gone through so much pain on this earth. You've gone through rejection. You've gone through ridicule. You've gone through things that we would never be able to go through, Lord. But you kept a good attitude. You continue to do Father's will, and there was a purpose for it. So, Lord, there's, we know that there's a purpose in our pain and in our suffering because you are persevering through us. You are giving us the strength. You are giving us a testimony to share of what we go through so that we can help others because you have gone through all that you've gone through so that you could help us. Thank you. We honor you. We praise your holy name. We love you so, so much. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen and amen. Oh, my dear brothers and sisters, what a beautiful, beautiful day with God's beautiful word today. Until tomorrow, Tatsons! <laughs>